A big unresolved question for me is why did my prostate cancer develop and could I have done something to prevent it? So one question lots of men ask is why does prostate cancer develop? Why me? And my feeling is some of it is actually just bad luck. I have a, a, a metaphor that I use and that is a bit like playing darts. Your chances of hitting the bull, i.e. getting cancer, are quite low, certainly for me when I play darts. But if you have the wrong diet or the wrong lifestyle, you take a step towards the dartboard and it's easier to hit the bull. With prostate cancer, the problem is we don't fully understand what gives you the steps forward yet. Could you prevent it? Well, this is, I guess, the million dollar question. Whenever we develop a condition, be it a serious condition like prostate cancer or even a headache, we, we look at our lifestyle and what we might have done that may have caused that disease. We do know that the environment is important. The environment and your lifestyle do impact on risk. The real issue, though, is what elements within that lifestyle led to that change. And to be honest with you, we just don't know yet that as well as your lifestyle, it's your genetic makeup. So some genes we know are involved and they may well interact with environmental factors. And if we want to look at the relative contributions of your genetic makeup and your lifestyle, we need large amounts of data and those data sets really just don't exist. That's in sharp contrast, to be honest with you, uh, in, in comparison to something like breast cancer. You know, we would do a disservice to men if we don't, as researchers, push to get these adequate resources to answer these important questions.